Hello, everyone. I hope you can see me live now. For whatever reason, I didn't have it connected to our Wi-Fi in the office, which unfortunately made it so that <laughs> I couldn't go live. So now we're live, and I'm excited to be live because I want to show you guys... Hello! I want to show you guys the card that I made today with the brand new inspiration box. So this inspiration box is live right now and we're three quarters of the way sold through them. So if you want to grab this inspiration box, grab it because this video will stay on YouTube forever, but the inspiration boxes will not be here forever. So I wanted to just preface it real quick with that. Here is what comes inside of the box. I'll just show you real quick. This is what you get inside. So you get this paper that shows you everything that's in it. And I think you guys will really love it because this stamp set alone is, I think, worth just the entire box. So that's uh, exciting to me. So what we're going to do is we're going to make this card here. And pretty much, I mean, 90% of this card was made with items from inside of the box. And I think this is just an absolutely beautiful card. Very simple, very easy to do. So, oh, I'm glad, nerd. Is that Nerdy Girl? Thank you for uh, for joining in. I'm glad you're able uh, to watch today. So I'm going to put this card to the side, and we're going to get started. And to get started, all we're going to need is one of the Brutus Monroe Square Card Bases. If you guys are new here, hello. Uh, my name, again, is Christopher Allen, and I own a company called Brutus Monroe that's named after my little miniature pincher. It's a paper craft company, and um, we're using almost all the products are from Brutus Monroe today. So um, my favorite type of a card is a square card. So that's why I had to have square cards that are already pre-cut with envelopes because uh, they do come in the pack. They are in stock and uh, you get 12 of them. You get six by six card base and six by six envelopes perfectly sized inside of the pack. So this is where it's going to begin is with this uh, card base. And then I'm going to grab a piece of the, and I believe I may have already put it away, so forgive me a piece of our mixed media paper let me take a look here i was so prepared i promise i was super prepared <laughs> and then you go this is what happens you get super a little bit too over prepared and then you go live and then as soon as you go live is when when you're no longer prepared okay here we go I found the paper I was looking for. So um, I'm going to be using some watercolor paper from the mixed media pack from Brutus Monroe. So, oh, awesome. So this is uh, the pack. There are so many different types of mixed media paper inside. And um, what I'm going to use today is the watercolor paper that's inside. It's my absolute favorite watercolor paper ever uh, because it's a super, super, super thick, beautiful, you can hear the the tooth on there. Oh, awesome. So you can see it's, I mean, it's, that's a thick cardstock. And what we're gonna do first is we're gonna cut this cardstock down to five by five. And I always teach in squares for most of my cards uh, or card making just simply because it's easy for a square. It's just a square on top of a square on top of a square, which makes life super simple. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cut this down to five by five by five. Like I said, I need to change that blade. Oh my goodness. We're gonna pretend that's a decorative edge. When you need to change your blade, and you haven't, we call that a decorative edge. <laughs> so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a piece of scrap paper and I'm going to stamp all over the background of, of this guy here. And then we're going to do some color bursting. So um, this is what the stamp set looks like. I don't know that I have a piece of paper big enough to show you. Let's see. Here we go. I do. I do. I do. I'm just trying not to knock everything over. So this is what the stamp set looks like that you receive, and it's a Gigunda one. It's very big. It's a six by eight stamp set. So just the stamp set alone, like I said, is worth uh, the price of the box. So let me go ahead and put that aside. And 
going to grab my detail ink. This is the Brutus Monroe detail ink. The reason that I'm using the Brutus Monroe detail ink is because it is waterproof once it's dry and we need something waterproof for how much media we're going to be putting on top of this. So what you're going to do is you're just going to start stamping all the way around the outside of your card. If you miss some spaces because it is a very, very highly textured watercolor paper, that's fine. It's just part of the look that we're going for. And we're just creating a faux pattern paper. And you can see there's no rhyme or reason, just keep stamping all the way around. And the Raven ink will dry very quickly. But what I will say is you do want to make sure that you heat set it if you're going direct to watercoloring like I will be doing here. So I'm just using a couple of the stamp sets from the actual box. I'm adding this in here. And again, it's just www.brutusmonroe.com is where you can go to grab your inspiration box. And after the video has done, uh, is done uploading and we're done being live, I will paste it down there in the subscription, um, not subscription box, my goodness, in the description, not subscription box. And now you can see how quickly, just while we're chatting away, I've created a outlined border there. So I'm going to close up my ink and I'm going to hit it real quick with the heat gun. Hello, Lainey and Kara. Just going to hit it real quick with the heat gun. Doesn't take much. Just to make sure it's completely dry before we start color bursting our hearts out. And if you've never used Color Burst before, today is a good day for you to join into the live video. Okay, so again, very simple, very easy. Couldn't be simpler, couldn't be easier. This is the finished card, so I'll show you that again. Hello, Beth. All right, so let me go ahead and grab my Brutus Monroe, my Brutus Monroe craft mat which mine is very dirty because I don't clean mine often. It just gives me more color to play with, I always say. Whoops, let me get these stamps out of the way. Just gives me more color to play with, I always say. So let's go ahead and add some color. So now I am using the Brutus Monroe Color Burst, which I still have a hard time saying that because I can't believe that I have my own Color Burst colors. So I have, um, we're gonna use Zest, Jack-o'-lantern and Marsala today. And I'm gonna show you a really cool technique with these. Actually, let me shed some light on the subject here. Hold on. I don't have the big studio light on. There we go, much better. So all I'm gonna do is I'm going to take the zest and all you do with color bursts is you're just gonna sprinkle them. And I'm sprinkling them wherever. It doesn't matter. You can go in and you can watercolor if you would like. Um, you can not watercolor with them if you'd like. You can just be messy and funky and fun like I'm being here, which makes it super, super spectacular for the end result. So now I'm gonna take my mini mister and we have, um, these also are offered in the Brutus Renault store. And I'm just gonna spray away. And the more water you use, the more the pigment will move. And that mini mister needs more water in it. There we go. So you're just gonna add more water and let it kind of flow around. And remember that Brutus Uno Detail ink is not going to move because it's permanent. It's completely permanent. And this may look very, very messy to you now but I promise you it's going to look great in a moment. Just adding a little bit more water. And then what I do is I grab it, I pick it up, and I turn it over. I pick it up, I turn it over like that, pick it up, turn it over, push. That's my technique. It's not a, it's not a crazy technique, I promise you. It's a very simple technique. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go in and we're going to give it a little bit of a dry just a tiny bit and again my watercolor paper 
on this pad has a lot of uh, it's it's got a lot of uh, thickness to it, so you can do um, quite a bit of layering on it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this again, pat down, take it again, pat down, and then I just keep grabbing more color. This might scare some folks because you're doing a lot of patting down and, and popping back up, but it's just, it adds such beautiful texture to it. You can drag it through. I'm gonna put that over to the side real quick and I'm gonna use my microfiber cloth to grab all of this color. You can put down another piece of paper if you would like. I just like to use the microfiber cloth because I can reuse them. And we'll get most of that color up, but not worried about getting all of that color up. So now we'll grab this, take our heat tool, give it a quick blast. There is so much traffic out my studio window today. I wish you guys could see. <laughs> Everyone, look, at we have a, a giant window in front of me in the studio. Full watercolor pad. Well, you're just going to have to just wait until after CHA, Miss Kara. Just we'll have to wait until after CHA. <laughs> wink, wink. Okay, so I'm just going to keep blasting this, and you can see there's a lot of variant in color, but it's also very saturated. So it's almost creating like a piece of pattern paper. Well, it is creating a piece of pattern paper. And you'll notice I'm heating right on my craft mat because the craft mat can be heated up to 500 degrees. And it doesn't hurt a thing. Okay, flip it over again. The okay, so we're just going to set this aside to let it dry a little bit more, but you can see that beautiful variation in color. I just craft mat over to the side. I'm going to put my craft mat over to the side and whoopsies. Okay, craft mat to the side, and now we're going to work on building up the rest of the card. So what I'm also gonna use is a newer product from us that you guys may not have ever seen before. Um, so I'm gonna grab the, uh, grab the cuddle bug here, and I'm going to grab some Rhenea foil. Have you guys heard of this before? Have you guys ever heard of the Rhenea foil? I'll wait to see if anybody has heard of it before. It comes in a pack like this. You haven't? Okay. Anyone else? I'm going to move my camera over here a little bit so that... No, you haven't heard it either? Okay, anyone else? Nope, anyone else? They're so nice I don't want to ruin it. <laughs> nope, no one else has heard of it. Okay, I'm just trying to move my camera. No, you haven't heard? Okay, so I'm gonna show you what it is. So it's a double-sided foil paper. They have many different colors. We have one that has gilded sterling and penny in it. So let me show you how pretty this is. And it's nice because we have the, this is the pack that has the, the metals in it, as I call it. So, Here's what, it, here's what the colors look like. So there's the gold, the silver, and the penny. And we're going to use it today to create our little 
finial corner holders, which again, this die comes in the box. It actually comes with four different corners. So let me go ahead and pull this back. Oh yes, the VIP box from our anniversary party. Now it is a foil, it's foil on both sides. One side is the color and the other side is always gold, but it has cardstock sandwiched in between it. So what does that mean? That means that it's going to be super duper sturdy and it's gonna cut like a dream. So I'm gonna run it through here twice because this is a detailed die and I can't wait for you to see how it falls. It's gonna fall right out of our die here. And there we go. Look at how beautiful. And again, you get four different dies with this set. So let me show you. These are the different die corners that you get with the set, all four. You get all four. Isn't that cool? All four. So I'm going to cut this now four times. Excuse the, the shaking of the table. I cannot find the, <laughs> the above head tripod thing. We have in our studio, we have a couple different camera angles that are set up for when we do a lot of our video, uh, video stuff. And the one that attaches to my phone has gone missing. So I'm using the one that's attached to the table. But there's just a little shaky. And it's just me in the studio today. The rest of the crew has gone home. So it's just me manning everything. So look at that. It looks like, I mean, it really looks like metal, doesn't it? We'll do one more because we have four corners. And of course, you'll want to clean out your die cuts in between. Not like what I'm doing. Okay, we're going to run this one through last time. Twice for good measure. It does cut like butter. It's my absolute, it's one of my favorite tools of 2018 and we just started. I have a feeling it will be on my favorite things list this year. Okay, so there you can see what we've cut out and I'm going to show you how the last one, there's some little pop out holes here in the corner. All you do is pop it out. I'll show you here. Whoops, just poke it through there. And you'll see, look at that. My goodness, and look how those pieces, if any get stuck, they just fall right through. And the only reason these pieces are even stuck in here is because I haven't cleaned out the die. <laughs> haven't cleaned out the die. Oh yes, that would be great. That would be great, Marissa. So there we go. So there's all those pieces popped out. So now we have our four corner, corner finial pieces as I'm calling them. And now we're going to do our centerpiece. So I'm just gonna grab a piece of scrap cardstock here. Uh, let's see, I had a whole bunch of scrap pieces. Here we go. A piece of scrap cardstock. I'm gonna grab the circular, the circular little, um, I guess you would call this the, I call it an envelope seal. That's what I'm using them for because I'll show you real quick what I did after I embossed this guy out. I'll show you what I did when I did the sample. Now I'm gonna use some of our penny embossing powder, which is as pretty as a penny. Pretty as a penny. When it's embossed, I'm just gonna Flick it here for a second. Then I'm gonna put the embossing powder back into the jar. Okay. And then let's grab our heat tool. You got your box already, you need the paper. What paper do you need, Beth? And we're just heat embossing it. Kara, this is right up your alley because you love the florals. Love the florals. So this is right up your alley. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab one of our foundation die sets. So these are our foundation dies. These are the circle. Oh, the foil I just used. Oh my goodness, Beth. Oh my goodness. Yeah, you, if you just search foil um, on the website, you'll find it on there. 
So this is the third one down. These are our circle dies, foundation dies. They retail for only $16.99. Can you believe it? Only $16.99 for the whole set of dies. And now I'm going to bring back up my cuddle bug. Let me get my foil off of here. Get all my foil off of here. Okay. And now, oh, does that need embossed? Yep. Hold on. There's an area that didn't get embossed. Stop the presses. Oh, the you, if you look up foil, it's not on the website, Kara. Thank you, Beth. It's not on there if you, Kara, if you can find it on the website by searching foil, if you can comment it down below, that would be awesome. So I'm using the circle die. I'm just gonna run this through. And these are our stitched circle dies. Okay, and then you have a perfect little circled seal there. Okay. Let me run these back through. All right, run that back through. And then we're pretty much done. Now I'm gonna grab the Warm Wishes stamp that also comes in the set. Thank you, Kara. Everyone say hi to Kara. She is the social media director for all of the Christopher Allen sites. So we have a separate social media director for Brutus Monroe, but anything that you see that's Christopher Allen, she um, handles all of that. So if you ask questions on the um, Christopher Allen Facebook page or any of the Christopher Allen uh, branded items, she's the one that helps you out. She's very quick with finding stuff. Very, very quick. Okay, so now I'm gonna, I just did the winter wishes and all I did was I just put this on a, a piece of paper that was already uh, just cut off. So let me go ahead and pop this to the side. Okay, I'm gonna pop that to the side. And now let's assemble, okay? Um, I'm going to start doing it at least three times a week. That is my new promise. At least three times a week is my new goal. I can't guarantee it because of my travel schedule, but I am going to certainly try. That's all I can do, right? I'm going to try. <laughs> I used to do it all the time, but it's getting harder and harder. Okay, so here is the card base. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to adhere this, this little guy first. So, da -da 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 -da. let me grab some adhesive here. Run this down all the sides. And if you guys are interested, oh yes, she also does the Cricut one. Yes, the my one, Cricut 101 group, she also does that. How could I forget, Kara? So if you ask questions, she runs that as well. Okay, so we've attached that on there and just look how beautiful. And if you guys stick around to the end, I'm gonna show you something really, really cool that's coming out tomorrow a special release for tomorrow if you guys would like to see okay so now i'm going to take these little guys just going to add a little bit of adhesive to it here and i'm just going to place this almost directly down in the corner and you can run this through your your little x machine they actually fit perfectly in the x machine they were designed to fit in this machine, so you can see they go in there perfectly. But I'm just gonna use my regular everyday adhesive because it doesn't bug me to have a little bit of adhesive popping through. So we're gonna go ahead, and you can also use your little adhesive eraser. We sell those at brutusonroad.com as well. They look like this. They pull any excess adhesive off. Okay, a little bit more adhesive, add the other two. Okay, pop, pop that there, last one. And we're making these so simply and easily. Okay, pop that on there. Now you can see, gives it that beautiful look of a finial. Isn't that cool? Really simple and easy, really simple and easy. Okay, perfect. So there we go. So now 
I'm going to take some little pop dots here. Whoops. And I'm going to toss my card across the room. Okay. And now we're going to remove this adhesive from the back. Simple and easy, simple and easy. Thank you, Lainey. I'm so excited to be back creating with you guys. My schedule slowed down for just a tiny little bit before I leave for CHA. Just a tiny little bit. So now we're going to place this in the center. You can see the copper is coppericious all the way around. I'm going to take a little bit more adhesive, pop it on my warm wishes, place that in the center. And there you go. There is your card. So there's a little bit of a different variation. You can see the color for the background of this one and then the color in the background of this one. So it's a little bit different, but with color bursts, you get a different look every time. I love square cards. They're so easy. They're so fun. I miss crafting too, believe me. You would have thought owning a craft company that I would craft more, but I don't. <laughs> I test a lot of products and play around with a lot of things, but I do not craft nearly as much as I would like to. But I'm getting my whole new home studio set up as soon as I get back from CHA, so I'll be crafting a lot more. I am too. I love copper. Love, love copper. Okay, so are you guys ready for a quick sneak peek of something releasing tomorrow? And I'm so excited to have finally found this item after searching high and low for the perfect version of it. Whoops. Thank you. All right, I'll find it and I'll put it down below, Kara. It might just not be active, that's all. Okay, so, you guys, let me just tell you a little story. Quick story. So, I've been looking for a felt, a felt, just a felt, for a really, really long time to use with die cutting. I don't know if you guys have seen the craze. Oh, and this real quick. This is what I stamped on the outside of an envelope. This comes with the stamp set, too, so you can write the person's name inside of it. I almost forgot to show you that. So... I've been searching for a felt, a really, really good, sturdy felt that I can use when I'm die cutting. And I can die cut shapes and different things to put on cards, but I needed something that was sturdy, something that worked really, really well, and something that I, you know, sourced and thought that the Brutus Monroe name, you know, and my name could go on it because it's, I like to bring you the best and most, the highest quality products that I possibly can. So, launching tomorrow is the Brutus Monroe deluxe rainbow felt pack now what does that mean well that means it's very deluxe so let me show you what comes in this pack so here's the top colors i did stamp on that envelope seal and just in case you were wondering that's only half of the colors that you're getting let me show you the other half because I couldn't just give you 20 colors. I'm giving you 40 colors. So if you can't find a color out of this stack, I don't know if I'm the one that can help you. <laughs> so you will receive for $34.99 is the price point. You get 40 sheets of glitter. I mean glitter, my goodness. 40 sheets of felt. 40 sheets, 40, and they are six by six because six by six is my favorite size. So you will never have to cut them down to put them in your die cutting machine. We've already pre-cut them for you. That was so important to me. I wanted to make sure that you could literally just take this square and put it immediately in your die cutting machine. So that was so important to me that you would get right out of the gate a square or a size that you can put directly in your die cutting machine, not have to cut anything down, not have to worry about getting out scissors, worry about, you know, using a rotary tool, any of that. These sizes will fit into any standard die cutting machine. I say standard because everyone and their sister is coming out with a mini die cutting machine this year. Literally everyone and their sister. So the standard machine it will fit into, meaning your standard cuddle bug, your standard big shot, your standard um, 
uh, We Are Memory Keepers, I think it's called the Evolution. Um, any standard machine it will fit into. Yes, flesh tones were very important to me. You'll notice we have quite a few flesh tones in here. Again, you receive 40 pieces of felt, and these are specially manufactured for using with die cutting, so they are still super soft, but they have a sturdiness to them, so you can die cut them. So again, you receive 40 pieces, and this rainbow of colors, I wish you could have seen me trying to figure out which colors we were gonna do, it was very difficult for me. <laughs> it was very difficult for me to find, excuse me, or to decide on what colors I was gonna give you, so I gave you pretty much every single one of those. Every single one of them. Yes, the Maker, that's another great thing, Kara, the Maker, the, the Cricut Maker, the rotary tool or the rotary setting on it will work beautifully literally beautifully and you can use these in the maker again you get 40 sheets for 34.99 that is less than i mean well less than a dollar a sheet and it's really great really sturdy beautiful beautiful felt and i think you guys are going to love the selection i can't get enough of this selection so again $34.99, you get all 40 pieces. It is a big stack when you get it home. It's it's like this thick. Um, when we were uh, pulling them out of the box today, I said, oh my goodness, these are magnificent. So I'm really excited for you guys to get these home. They go live tomorrow. There's an email uh, that will go out um, probably next week about them because tomorrow the retirement sale ends. Um, so with the retirement sale, there will be an email that goes out tomorrow because we've added... 12 additional products to the retirement sale. So that will go out tomorrow. But again, just check tomorrow. There will be at the top of the, um, you'll notice at BrutusRoad.com, there's a little, a little banner at the top. That banner at the top will have um, the felt information where you can grab a stack. I can tell you right now, these are not going to last long. Um, maybe an hour, because uh, we only have our first run shipment in. First run shipment means as much as we can get in via FedEx, as opposed to on, um, you know, on the, the slower travel route, as much as we can get in, um, you know, through FedEx. So it's, it's not a huge amount. There's plenty here. I'll tell you that. But with most of our new products, um, I know, you know, generally how quickly they will go. And this one is going to be one um, that I think is going to go very quickly. So I hope you guys love this felt. Um, so yeah, so that's it. Thank you all so very much for tuning in today. This is the card again that we made today. Make sure you grab yourself one of those inspiration boxes. They retail for only $34.99 and it's an over $100 value because remember, you do get so much more in the box that I didn't even show you. Um, you get card layering panels, so you get these um, in it as well, which are already pre-printed and they are foilable and they're ready to go. So if you didn't want to stamp around it like I did there, I give you one that's already done. Isn't that cool? So it's already completed for you. Um, also, let's see, what are some other goodies I can show you real quick? Um, you get some of our flat back bubbles. Thank you. You get flat back pearls. You get glassine bags that are the perfect size for gift cards. What else? Let's take a look. There's lots in this box. You get a an ink cube in sage. I'm digging through my box now. You get some envelope seal stickers. So these are envelope seal stickers. They're actually a circle. You can see there. Um, you get ribbon that coordinates. You get some of our beautiful bottle cap sequins that change color depending on how you move them. And so much more in the box, but I'm not going to dig into the rest of the box. So thank you all so much for tuning in. I adore each and every one of you. And thank you so, so much for your support of Brutus Monroe. And I hope to see all of you guys soon. But until then, and I may see you the next time at CHA, but we are going live tomorrow. So make sure you tune in because we're doing a feature Friday every Friday where we talk about a product that isn't Brutus Monroe. So... It's a product that's not mine, it's someone else's, and I love it and I wanna talk about it. What we're gonna be talking about tomorrow are these. They are the brand new Crayola brush markers. So this is what they look like in the set. 
Tomorrow, we're going to be playing around with them, and I'm going to tell you what I think of them and um, if I like them, and I'm going to give you a spoiler alert. I do, and I can't wait to show you what you can do with them and why they're a great bang for your buck because they are a, um, they are a great price point for brushes and for a watercolor um kind of a watercolor assembly so i like the tin too so i will show you uh these tomorrow um but other than that again i'm gonna head off thank you so much for tuning in and remember to always create your own ending goodbye my friends